Hi, here to show you how Southern Eye Center uses EHR with iPads. The purpose, of course, is to reduce the time and cost it takes to get information from patients into the system. When the patient arrives, we go ahead and load up their EHR record and pick the things that we need them to take care of on the iPad. And then we'll choose the iPad number and hit send. As a security precaution, the iPads can only receive one bit of information that we send to it. And we give a little instruction to the patient and then hide them the iPad. It's pretty easy and straightforward. As the patient begins to enter their information, we found that patients do all the data entry again like it used to be back in the day. 97% uh, are able to do it and it's easy. Uh, just type in their name, for example. Wherever possible, we try to use pop-up boxes like these right here where they don't have to type, just pick. In some cases, though, after they pick when they need to go ahead and type, like an email address, uh, the keyboard does come up and they plug that information into the system. They can flip to different components, uh, plugging in more information that will transfer either directly to their demographic information or right into the EHR record itself. Uh, medications, of course, are very tricky. They can see what we have, but we don't require them to put it in. We may just have to do that in the room. Uh, here, in addition, we can do review of systems where they can go ahead and knock out the most of the data entry on the review of systems and then we finish it off and review it with them in the room. Of course, when it's time to sign their rights and responsibilities document, they can look over it and click the button and sign their name. In addition to the rights and responsibility documents, we have questionnaires like a LASIK questionnaire or even a vision questionnaire that we use to score cataract procedures. And as they type these values in and the PDFs that are created, they all transfer directly back into the AHR record. When we're in the rooms, we also need to take care of consent forms, financial agreements, other tests, and so those things will need to transfer to the iPad. Of course, when we're ready, we'll go ahead and load up and choose the documents that we need to send back down to the iPad. So we can choose consent forms, uh, financial agreements, tests, other things that are available here. And we will again choose those and then choose the iPad and hit send. As the records come down, uh, some are very simple, like this. The doctor has a spot where he's going to sign, the patient signs their part. But we also have more complicated documents, some that are nine pages long with anesthesia consents and all kinds of things like that that require more signatures. We can plug in some additional information that will be fed into the documents. And then when it comes time to sign, the doc can go ahead and pick his spots to sign really quick and get those knocked out of the way and the witness can know exactly where their signature spots are and the patients can either do initials or full signatures. All these things are directly converted into a flat PDF and are transferred directly back into the EHR record. We can review the kind of changes that were made to the data, if there's signatures there. We can even go into an admin screen and choose things we may have forgotten, like say an answer grid test or other consent forms. We hit close and hop into those. Now our technicians in the room can either do it themselves or they can point it at the patient and let them use their finger and draw on the test. Uh, they can configure boxes, add more information, say it's missing, dark area, etc. And then mark up the text, the test, choose save and all this information is sent directly back into the EHR record without scanning. We use the iPads for a lot of things. We put games on them for the patients, we pull them up in the ORs to view tests. It gives us a way to reap all the benefits of being paperless within our EHR.